Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're starting with a bit of a petal, looks like a mess, but we're going to have fun with it. This is leftover paint that I used to do a, another painting with and I am going to show you using this leftover paint how you can repurpose the paint with a different uh, canvas. I actually just turned these cups over because they were used as well just to get more paint out on the canvas. I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas here. It's already been taped and pinned to the back and all I'm going to do is use this base, this paint as a base paint and just by taking it and positioning it as much as I can into the paint that currently exists. Gently pressing on there to get as much of that paint absorbed into the canvas. And this is going to be reserving uh, my need to have additional paint on my base. I'm going to gently raise this up. I'm not looking for a design, I'm just looking to get paint. Although it gave us a nice pretty design that we can start working with. So what I'm going to do now is take away this, actually I think what I'll do is I'll try to get a little bit more paint, like there's a lot here. Just lay that down, try to get more on this side, and I'm using this to repurpose the canvas in terms of repurposing the paint for a new canvas is what I guess I want to say. And it doesn't really matter because this is not going to be really my base. It's just going to help me to have base color. Put that aside and I'm going to move this out and bring in a clean one. So we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And I have taken, gotten a clean surface to work with, taking just my little stir spoon and going around the edges here, filling in some of the white on the canvas. Also inside where we see white. This is just going to serve as a foundation to repurpose paint and also to assist us in having to do our pour. Smoothing that out as much as we can to level it. You can use a spatula to do this. The design doesn't matter because that's not the design I'm seeking. Okay, and so what we have here is the top part of the 12 by 12 inch canvas covered with previously used paint. So if you're using this to create a background for or a base for other acrylic techniques, this is one way you can do it without having to gather the paint up in a cup or by other means. Okay. So there we have our base color, sort of a teal, a steel teal dark blue, but pretty. So we have a clean cup, and we're gonna do a flip cup with it using these ready to pour um, paints by Artist Law. And this is the metallic black. Just start with some in the base of the cup. I have the bright blue. Again, all artist law. I'm just going to pour them right into the cup here. You do not have to mix these at all. I shake them a little bit because they could be settled by having been stored. But other than that, you just pour. This is silver. The color I just put down was turquoise. 
turquoise, silver. Now we have violet. And on top of violet, I'm gonna put some deep yellow. And on top of the deep yellow, I have aqua green. Okay. And those will be the colors that we use to do what I'm going to do as a flip cut. Okay? Right on top of our base color here. That is really, I would say it is a beautiful steel kind of dark teal uh, color. But let's do it. Let's just go ahead and flip this as best we can. Okay. That didn't flip as well as we like it to, but it flipped. As long as we get the paint down. Mostly on the canvas, of course. So, this could be where you take a pen and just punch your, a hole in there, a small hole and let the air release. You could blow out the air bubbles as well with a torch. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to gently release and see what happens here with these colors. So pretty. All right. Excuse me. Now I'm going to just lift this up and the idea here is to just move it and get it flowing right where you want it to go. Taking off whatever you want to take off. Leaving on as much as you like to leave on. Because we have these large sides that are neat. That is so pretty. And if you find that you can't get it all over around the sides, you can always paint the sides pre-paint them. Um, that's really pretty. I want to keep that as much as I can. So I'm going to move this over to this corner edge. All right. Love, love, love that blue. Love the violet. These are really beautiful colors. I wear gloves, guys, though, because this is quite a mess, messy, messy technique. And I'm just turning this around, and I'm going to push back a little bit toward my lower left or lower right, only with the intention of moving forward to go to my upper left. Getting that all the way over and off the edge without losing all the color that I, I see here. Let's see, got it just about covered. It's pretty on that side, pretty on this side as well, covered. You see how pretty that is. And then I have quite a bit of paint I can still move and work with. And I'm going to try to get this corner, my lower left hand corner, and run some of the paint off. Without losing everything that I like. All right? So there you have it. It's really pretty. And putting that base color down just helps and you can see we got more base paint now that we could use underneath this but here you have lots of beautiful color it almost looks like an alcohol ink because there's some blending the way these colors blended together it really looks like an alcohol ink uh, design i'm going to remove my gloves bring you in for a close-up and let you take a closer look okay all right, everyone, here we have our close-up. As you can see, this 12 by 12 
flip cup design looks so amazing. Look at the shimmer and shine on top. The colors are blending together, similar to a rainbow, but it looked like a alcohol ink um, design. The, the, the effect is what I guess I'm looking for in terms of a term. The effect looks like it could be an alcohol ink design, but it is not. This is a flip cup using the ready to pour paints by Artist Loft. And for those of you who are starting off, a flip cup, cup is a amazing technique to use. <clears throat> Excuse me. Easy to use and even easier if you have ready to pour paints. So consider that Artist Loft ready to pour paints. You don't have to mix anything, just pour them. And I mixed them in a cup and poured it out as a flip cup for this design. And you can see we have our edges are nicely covered all the way around. Okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for joining me as always. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. And we are on to the next video. Keep in mind, I'm going to be doing different techniques, starting pretty easy with a flip cup. And not that there's any real difficult techniques. It's just a matter of taking time, practice, and skill and being determined to get it done. Hey, everyone. Here's our dry results of the 12 by 12 inch flip cup that we did. And I just wanted to show you how pretty it dried. And look at the shimmer and shine in it. And this does not have any finish on it. This is just the outcome of the dried, ready to pour paints by Artist Law. So it dried beautifully. The colors are rich and vibrant. And hopefully you can see that this is something you could do if you're starting out and you just really don't have a lot of money, you want to paint, you want to have a finished outcome, this can do it without having any resin or any varnish. Okay, 12 by 12. And it really turned out nice. Hope you like it. Thank you for joining me.